This is part four of the event history analysis course. Um, it is devoted to event consistency checks. In a previous lesson, we saw how to draw a lifeline from a sequence of events described in a long format file. In particular, we can identify the gaps when the individual was out of the study area. More generally, we can verify the consistency in the sequence of events ordered by date of occurrence. This will tell us if the data were correctly collected and managed. These events and date consistency checks are of two kinds. The first kind is to check for non-logical dates. Are the dates of birth out of range? Examples are too many centenarians or too many people born the 1st January 1960, etc. To include early deaths, that is, babies who died very shortly after they were born, it is necessary to count a few hours between birth, BTH, and death, DTH, if the birth and death occurred on the same calendar day. Remember that in demography, only the babies who were born alive are counted in mortality rates. It is also advised to count one day or at least a few hours between internal exit and entry. The logical sequence of events depends on the date and time at which these events occurred. If the date and time are not right, this results in non-logical sequence of events, such as death before birth or out-migration before enumeration, etc. Actually, the second kind of consistency checks has to do with non-logical sequence of events. The first event for any individual should always be either of these three events. Enumeration, in migration or birth. Non-logical sequence of events could be birth after death or enumeration or in migration. Non-logical sequence of events could also be a succession of the same event, for example, in migration followed by in migration. Also, internal moves should be first exit and then entry. The last event should always be an end of observation event, that is OBE. We will see later that it is essential for good longitudinal data management to include such an event. Following the preceding comments on the sequence of events, an essential tool to check these sequences is the event consistency matrix. This matrix is important to check before introducing any other events than listed in this matrix. To display this matrix, you just need to order the events by date, to create a variable identifying the preceding event, that is the event code on the preceding record for each individual, to cross-tabulate the event code variable with the preceding event code variable, including the missing values you will get a matrix similar to this one. If everything is in order, the number of records should be zero in the crossed cells. For example, there should be no observations in the cell crossing NU and NU, because you cannot be enumerated twice. Also, you cannot be enumerated before birth, and vice versa. As you can see, there are many non-logical sequences. The column of missing values marked with a dot apply to the last record for a particular individual. This column should not appear in the table because all sequences should finish with the OBE, the end of observation. Consequently, the line for OBE should not appear in the matrix since there should be no record after an OBE. All the cells that are not crossed may contain numbers in an HDSS or National Register framework. In the cell crossing out migration with death, there is a question mark. This is because in some instances, 
the death might be recorded after the individual had migrated because the individual is still attached to the household that reported the death. However, for analytical purposes, you will have to check the duration between the outmigration and the subsequent death to decide if this death should be included as part of the deaths in the surveillance area or not. If you are using this course to analyze retrospective survey data, then there should be no death events. This is because in a survey, all respondents are alive at the time of observation. Also, respondents have to be a resident in the study area to respond, so there should not be any OBE after an out-migration. If you are analyzing cohort data, there should be no missing event before in-migration. Because in cohort studies, all observations start with either enumeration or birth. A more complex event consistency matrix is found in our manual published in BMC. This more complex matrix includes other events such as internal exit and entry, round of data collection and last interview. Let's finish with some general recommendations for quality checks. The process of checking event consistencies is iterative. Generally, after you run the matrix, you will start to fix a number of inconsistencies in the data. However, correcting some errors may create other inconsistencies. In practice, the consistency matrix has to be checked several times until the errors become negligible. Very often, when the inconsistencies are many for one individual, it is better to return to questionnaires or to original data extracted from the field to check what was wrong. Often, the records for the same individuals are repeated in the file but with different dates. Generally, you should not tolerate more than 2% errors in the consistency matrix. That is, the sum of all records in the crossed cells should not exceed 2% of the total number of records. This 2% rule is a rule of thumb. Don't look for hard science here. In practice, after corrections of inconsistencies, HDSS have a much lower rate of errors. The matrix is also a data management tool that helps a lot to make corrections in the original data extracted from the field. It should be used by data manager and data analyst before releasing the data. Once the event consistency matrix is checked and errors corrected, then other events can be merged with the basic core residency file. This can be employment history, matrimonial history, birth history, etc. Before merging the core residency file with other event files, make sure that all files end up with an OBE, preferably with the same end of observation date. To merge these files, you will need to use a special program named tmerge. You should run a consistency check after each merging. Again, the detailed procedures are found in our Longitudinal Data Management Manual as an attachment to our BMC research note. Many thanks for your kind attention.